So if you plug in a 0 for x, you're going to get 2 for y, which all of these have. If you check the discriminant, b squared minus 4ac, you'll find that this is 4 minus 8. So there's no real zeros. So that rules out a and that rules out d. That leaves the vertex, negative b over 2a. So it's going to be negative 2 over 2, which is negative 1. So b is going to be the right answer. This equation is in vertex form. The negative tells us it opens downward. The x-coordinate of the vertex is 3. The y-coordinate of the vertex is a. Because it opens down, that vertex is going to be the maximum point. The range is the set of real numbers less than or equal to 4. So that rules out these two. And these are the only ones that the maximum is at a y value of 4. They tell us also that the zeros are negative 3 and 1, which fits this one. It doesn't fit here. So the answer is A. If the parabola has this equation, we know that it opens down because of the negative. We know that it has a vertex of negative h comma k. So if the vertex is going to be somewhere in quadrant 2 because they tell us h and k are positive, and it opens down, well, they just want to know what quadrant is the vertex in, quadrant 2. So between negative 4 over here and positive 6, what is the minimum value of the function? Well, it's going to be here at negative 4. And the answer is going to be negative 2. There's two intercepts here at negative 1, 0, and r, 0. If the vertex occurs at 2, 4, well, notice we had to go over 1, 2, 3 to get to the vertex. So we'll go another 1, 2, 3 and r is going to equal to 5. And the graph would look something like this. If we have x-intercepts of negative 2 and 4, that means x plus 2 and x minus 4 are factors. So our graph is going to look something like this. It entirely depends upon the scale factor. It's going to open up. Well, I guess we don't know that definitively, but uh, if it's a fraction, it's going to flatten out. We want the largest number possible, and then the vertex will be farther away from the x-axis. So that's here A. We have a quadratic with x-intercepts of negative 2 and 4. We don't know if it opens up or down, but it looked like one of these two. So we looked for the A value to determine how close the vertex is to the axis. If it's a fraction, that's going to flatten the curve out and it's going to be closer to the x-axis. The bigger the number is, the farther away from the axis it will be. So this is in vertex form, which means my vertex is b comma c, and I see that it opens up downwards, so a is going to be negative. To put this vertex into an equation, it would read negative a times x minus b squared plus c, which is exactly what a says. So this is for vertex b comma c. So if we plug in a 0 for t, we are at 72 feet. And that tells you the initial height in feet of the object before it was launched. After approximately how many seconds will the ball hit the ground? So the height will be 0 at that point, negative 4.9t squared plus 25t. So if you notice, 5 squared is 25. So if we plug in 5 seconds, we're going to get 25 times 5 over here. And over here, we're going to get negative 4.9 times 25, because that's what 5 squared is. And that'll cancel each other out and give us 0, so I'm going to pick 5.